Let's talk about the spiritual path of joy. In Psalms 126, verse 2, it says this, Our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. When was the last time that your mouth was filled with laughter and your tongue with shouts of joy? I pray that it was just a few minutes ago because it should be part of your everyday life. I want to share something with you from Psalms. This writer is talking about the absolute wonder of God. You can tell that he is fully alive in God. Here's what he says. I'm reading from Psalms 77, verses 11 through verse 14. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. What happens when you call to your mind the deeds of the Lord? Now hopefully you do not think about the judgment of God or the will of God which some believe is the absolute worst thing that can happen in life like the insurance company saying acts of God. No, it's the deeds of God. What God has done for you that has been so magnificent in the past that it's even going to get better in your future. Now I continue. Yea, I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate on all the work and muse on thy mighty deeds. What does it mean to muse on thy mighty deeds? Does it mean to look at God in solemn worship with a frown on our face? No, it means to have an absolute smile on our face and in our heart and in our mind. That's the way that we should worship God. We should come before God smiling in absolute gratitude with laughing and singing and dancing because God is so good. God is so much better every moment if we allow God to come in and through us with absolute pure joy. God can only do this for us if we are willing to allow God to, to be in us in this way. Now I continue with Psalms. Thy way, O God, is holy. What God is great like our God. Thou art the God who works wonders. Well, you may look at that one line and think, well, what God is great like our God? What does this mean? Sometimes we have many gods in our lives. We have many things that we put before God. All of us do. At certain times, we have relationships, problems, jobs, careers, time commitments that we make God in that moment. And we forget about the real God. You should remember the one true God all the time. What does it mean to be holy? God is holy. That means to be whole. Unless God is whole, from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet inside of you, well, then you don't have everything that you need. You're missing out on the holiness of God. If the wonder of God is full inside of you. You know then what the wonder of God is. Activities in church are often full of play, and they should be. That's the sign of a healthy, faith-filled organization. Healthy organizations, healthy friendships, healthy relationships 
always work and they play. You have to work hard, but you also have to play hard. Play and humor and laughter is a sign of health. That's the way to live, to go in joy, even if it's just for a moment, to realize the absolute wonder. I would like to read some words that Jesus spoke that have great power for us today. Jesus said, Look, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Unless you see signs and wonders outside of yourself, you will not believe. But signs and wonders are not separate from you. A godly vision has perception that sees signs and wonders everywhere, including inside of yourself. Listen to the truth within this poetry. It is called Trusting As I Go. It is by James Dillett Freeman. Man fences in his mind, not to shut in, but out. He likes his world defined. He feels at ease about the things that have a rim that was designed by him. The world is too immense to take the measure of and put inside the fence unless the fence be love. And so I find I must accept most things on trust, but trusting as I go that things are mainly good, somehow I'm sure to grow, more than I think I would, if I would always see where boundaries had to be. We all have a vision that proceeds from the perception of our own mind. When we expand our human ability to believe in the unseen, one of the effects is a, a new spiritual vision that comes inside of us that sees beyond the appearances. I want to share with you one of my favorite stories. This happened a few years ago. I was with this man at a study group, and the man was eager to learn. And he said, Reverend, tell me everything you can. I have all night long. Tell me everything about God. I'm ready. On the coffee table, there was a glass filled with liquid. I looked at that man in the eye, and I said, Do you see this? This is your mind. Then he took a pitcher, and I ask him to pour the pitcher of clear water into the glass. And he said, I can't do that because it will overflow. I said, do it anyway. And he poured into the glass, and it started to overflow all over the coffee table. And I looked him in the eye, and I said, Unless you empty yourself first, you can't be full. If you want more wonder in your life, the wonder of everything you see, you have to empty out all the preconceived opinions and preconceived concepts. Decide to do it by emptying yourself of the former concepts of how good will come to your life. When you empty yourself of all preconceived condition, you'll find that God rushes in. Nature abhors a void, and God will rush in with solutions to your life that you have never dreamed of because you were fenced in by the old concepts 
held inside of your human mind. You'll have better solutions than you've ever conceived. Everything will become new. Have this mind in you that was in Christ Jesus. The joy will be inside of you. It will be part of you, part of your DNA. The mark of Christ consciousness is godly perception and love of your own life and of others. It's how you perceive everything in this moment that you're living in. And let's look at this moment. You might be living in this moment and thinking of what's wrong in this moment. You might have this little voice going off in your head about all the little things that are not right in your life. Instead, let's live life this moment and turn up the rheostat of the intensity of happiness and joy as we realize how special God is right now in our lives. It has been said we don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. Remember, you do not have any jello mold in your mind. This moment is new if you make it new. It is a clean slate. The problems that you have are nothing to God. One of the reasons you have these problems is so that you can learn spiritually to see past them, to realize that your answer is already here. One of the ways you can test yourself to see if you're in human consciousness or godly consciousness is if you are critical and judgmental every moment. If you are, you're still in human consciousness. You know that we all fall into this at times. But we're in it for an extended period in life when we don't let go of those feelings of being critical and judgmental. And we allow that jello mold to mold our thoughts and opinions about others and things and places and become like concrete in our minds. We must spiritually break that up. There was a man in my ministry, he came to me one time and said, you know, I haven't heard anything new in a church service in 14 years. I just come to the service for maintenance. <laughs> Let me tell you something that happened to this man. He had a heart attack, and he had to have major heart bypass operations. During this time, there was a change that happened in him. Yes, he prayed for a healing, but he also prayed for a total change in him. He prayed in a new way, he, and he had a deep, deep spiritual experience, and he was healed. But he was healthy in a way beyond his heart. He had the biggest change that happened to him in his attitude toward moment-to-moment -moment life. He became more spiritual and he gave thanks every day that he was alive. He began to see the wonder in every moment and have joy and happiness fill him and overflow from him. It became a joy to be with this man. Have this awareness of God happen in you. You don't need to go through a major crisis in your life to turn this switch on. You can turn it on now. You can have that light of God in you, on in you, right now. 
The light will shine inside of you and inside of your life, radiating in pure confidence a great joy that can only be defined spiritually. It has been said that God is too big for any one religion. But God is not too big for any one individual to have a new experience with God every day. Life is full of miracles and life itself is miraculous. Every day is a day to expect miracles and serendipity of unexpected positive surprise through spiritual experience. This will allow you to live in wonder every day and allow you to break the mold of the way you've been thinking and allow you to realize the signs and the wonders that are all inside of you. First, you must empty yourself. It is emptying yourself of every thought that's not working for you. If you don't like your job, I ask you to empty yourself of all preconceived opinions about it. And then allow Christ to infill you and your awareness and Christ's love to find new discovered joys about your job. Second, be selective in how you fill yourself. Moment by moment, you have a choice of what you allow in. You have free will. You can fill yourself up again another day with human thought, human worries, human fears, or you can consent to the activity of God in filling you every single day. Third, I've said it, work hard, but play hard. Enjoy your spirituality. Enjoy your religion. Enjoy this moment. You know, religion is not one hour on Sunday morning. It is the way you live your life. Religion, it, the exact meaning means a way of life. I pray for a great movement to be in you and a movement that is great in your mind, a movement that will break up those old molds that will have a, a healthy effect on the inside of you, on the inside of your mind, on the inside of your body. Your body temple is the true cathedral where you worship God. When people see your face, when people see your smile, I pray that they see a religious symbol of your faith. Fourth, turn up the rheostat of wonder and an awareness of the magnificence of God. If you're immersed in a problem right now, turn up the God rheostat. Focus on the good and marvel at your own life. This will free up your mind so that you can receive the wonders of God. Join me for a moment in prayer, my friend. This moment... Dear God, I consent to your activity. I empty myself of all preconceived opinion. I ask for thought to flow into every crevice of my mind. I ask you, dear God, to light a light in the darkness of the thought about this situation and cause new light to spread throughout my being and throughout my life. I ask you, God, to infill me with your ideas without any preconceived opinions of how that infilling will come. I hold an open mind like never before 
to your wonder, God, and your majesty, God. I pray that you will fill me with this awareness. I ask you, God, to bring new play and enjoyment into my life. Because life, I know, is not meant to be a struggle, but a constant series of enjoyment and ever-expanding happiness. I ask for ever-increasing God-filled joy. I ask for movement in every area of my life, positive God-centered movement. I ask, dear God, that the wonder of all these happenings can be brought out in my human awareness, that I can open my eyes and see with a perception that is from Christ. I dedicate myself today, body, mind, and my soul to opening up to your wonder, God, in this moment, opening up to you and living in that wonder. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen.